Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you're enjoying Cityscape Week. I'm excited. Everything is turning out amazing. Love, love, love this beach. Oh, this is just like, I can't, but when you have something in your head and you want to put it together and it's just, it freaks me out when it turns out, which is kind of scary. So I'm in love with this one. This one I'm on the fence about. It's kind of nice. I, um, too many cells for me, but then someone was saying it looks like windows. Pretty cool. You can, um, another uh, suggestion was to, when you do your swipe on the bottom, do a, a little bit of a wiggle swipe instead of straight. That's also awesome. You got to keep them all in the same wiggle swipe, but that would be awesome as well. So today, we're gonna get into another one. I'm excited. We are doing some more with the mirror tiles and it's gonna be coasters. So I'm very excited. But before I do that, I have a couple of things I'd like to say. First, I would love to say thank you, Janice, for your PayPal donation. Oh my goodness. You sent me a mug already. You didn't need to do that. And I will definitely probably be getting some glitter with that. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Number two, I just wanted to throw out there, Crystal Resin is having a back to school discount code. So I just wanted to give that out to you amazing people because I don't have a code, but <clears throat> this is amazing if you want to use it. It is, I want to get right, fall, F-A-L-L 10, all lowercase. And it's a good until Sunday the 19th and you get 10% off your whole order. So with that, get on there. Get those amazing stir sticks. I am using the resin today in my my uh, coasters. Amazing. And also, I just want to throw out there, um, Laura, the amazing Laura from there, is ha hosting a, um, a resin night. So they're doing, I'll give you a little picture. They're doing resin trays. So if you are in the Toronto area, they're in Markham. I'm going to link in the description. I'm going to give you all the details. So you get to do a resin tray. You get the resin, you get the tray and all of that amazing stuff. It's October the 2nd and October the 3rd. And it's a two part. It's like, I think it's from 10 until 12, both days. I just want to do it. I want to get it right. So 10 to 12, both days and it's in October. Yeah. So I'll link everything in there and a link for you to go and check it out. So please go give it a try. Get some resin. I think that'd be pretty doing one of those trays. So with that, we're going to get right on into this. I'm excited. Oh, and I, sh I might as well, I brought them down. I bought these new trays molds. So this is a coaster tray. And then these four molds are different. Each one is different. I'm going to make sure the right way. One is the waves. One is like this. Another one is a wave. It's a little different though. It's not quite the same. And then this one. Now, I'm 100% sure I'm going to double check my Amazon, but it popped up on my Facebook. Um, I'm leery on some of those because I've purchased a couple of things and they never showed up ever, ever, ever. So I was surprised it showed up. So I will um, find where I bought them, link them in the description box. I'm pretty sure they were like $25. So with that, now we're getting into business, girls and boys. I'm going to get my working clothes on, get my nice cozy sweater off, and we'll be right back. Hello, my beautiful people. Um, this is going to be um, a mixing video for a couple of different videos. I've decided to do um, all my little coasters and that way I can play around with different things on each coaster. So I have decided to mix up 16 ounces, 12 ounces, can't count. Um, of crystal resin. This is my resin of choice. It is crystal resin. The link is in my description box. And I have used my mask 
and I have my Dyson Air Purifier on. Now, please use your um, PPE, your gloves, your mask, and whatever else you think you may need to protect yourself. I'm choosing to not wear my mask so I can talk to you lovely people as I'm doing my video. So with that out of the way, I am going to use these amazing coasters I bought. The link is in the description box. And I'm doing eight. It comes in a set of 10, but I have um, two of them I already have stuff in it so that I'm gonna prep that for another video. And I'm gonna do four of these today black and four of these today a pink purpley color. So I want, I measured out about, there's about an ounce and a half to fill each one halfway. So I did three, 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 and three. So there's six ounce, 12 ounces. I'm gonna divide that into two parts. So six ounces and six ounces. Half of them are gonna be um, black. This is Black Diamonds Black Onyx Pigment Powder. I feel bad because I don't have any black from any of my amazing um, Lorez peeps. I didn't even think about black, it's kind of crazy. And then in that black, because I want it to have some glitter, I am using this extra fine from Recollections. This one is called Black. And the other half I am using, this is also from Black Diamond. I recently used this in a video. Not a video, but I, I made something with it and oh my goodness, the color is beautiful. It's called Liquid Fire. And to that, I want glitter, of course. You always have to have glitter, my friends. We are gonna add some of Laura's Art Corner's Dragon Fly, Dragon Fruit, Dragon Fruit, my apologies. Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, enough of the glitter porn. Let's get to mixing up this stuff. All right. So funny, I have one speck of that pink <laughs> in my clear container. All right, so I'm gonna pour until I think it's six. And then I'll measure what's in my big cup here. And that's a little bit more I need to get out. Perfect. And then we'll pour the rest in that and we'll just put them together and make sure they're even. And it's kind of hard to see when you've got these zigzagged. I think this one needs more. Too funny. All right, let's get it all out. All of this beautiful resin. All right. Oh, and my sticks also from um, Crystal Resin. Go check their site out if they've got some amazing products on there as well. I like the, uh, the sticks are really good. I like them. So now with these colors, because I'm doing things on top of them, I do not want them to be see-through. So it helps if the spoon is the right way. I am putting in a lot because I do not want it see through. Let's ah, see where that takes me. Wipe off my mess as I'm going because you know how that is. Go slow when you're mixing your pigments because you don't want it to fly everywhere. unless that's what you're going for. Good mix, you want it mixed well. And I can't see my stick, so we're good. And now we are just gonna dump in the oh my gosh side of this black glitter. And here we go. I want lots in there. I want this to be, I'm doing like a starry night idea. So I want it to be like, um, I 
don't know, guys. Maybe I need to put silver in there. I'm going to use... Oh, I hate to do this. I'm going to use the last of my silver opulence in here. Because I want it... I want you to be able to see the glitter. The black on black might not have worked. Oh, there you go. The silver is better. All right. Nope. Next time. I did black little... Um, oh my gosh, yes, there you go. I did some black um, barrettes and I put glitter in them, but you couldn't see the glitter. So, and I used that black glitter. So, nope, do not do that next time. Now this, wait till you see this color. Because I did some, I played around first, which I never normally do. I like to do it raw and fresh on video so you people I know I'm probably putting too much guys but I want to make sure that it's not see-through so um anyways I was made some barrettes and you would have seen my video I did one last week of the barrettes so awesome and I did this color but I did it off camera and it's just stunningly gorgeous, this color. So I thought this would be pretty as coasters with some doodling. Because I purchased some different colors of those pen, those uh, relief. Look at that. Is that not? Oh, that is amazing. And I'm going to add some of this dragon fruit in there. Let's give it a good stir. Oh, amazing. Look at that. All right. So we're going to get at this. I mix them. If you're wondering why, I, I took the, not just because I was doing two colors, but I hate putting glitter in these amazing, these, these are amazing to use to mix. They're easy to clean. Take out a wet one, wipe it out thoroughly, like I should be doing it right now, but because I'm doing a video, um, I can't do it. So. I normally wipe it out with really, really good, probably takes three or four wet ones. And then I um, dump some of my alcohol. I have a bunch that's 91%, which I don't use anymore because I have the 99. And I dump that in that container and use a paper towel and wipe it all out and it comes out amazing. Don't even have to take it up to the sink. All right, enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna put, um, in four of these black and I'm excited for you to see the video for this one because this one is going to be amazing I think I might have did a little bit of a sneak preview in one video See, doesn't that look like a night sky? And if this is enough, I might make some more birds with it. Because you want to leave enough room to do a second coat so you don't want it full for what I'm doing anyway. Just remember that if you're doing that. And these, actually, I quite enjoy these molds. They're beautiful. The 
they're thick enough you can put stuff in and um, yeah I'm just gonna grab where did I put oh I guess I can use the stir stick that's in there I'm just gonna dump this back in because I want to use use it for my little barrettes okay now we're gonna get into the pink give it a stir when you put glitter in make sure you give it a good stir And my board here does not fit eight, so I have a little board on the side with two in it. <gasps> my goodness. So you're not gonna see it, I don't think. Here, let me see if I can move this down. There. And we'll move this over there, there, and then you can see. This is just amazing. See, now when you flip these boards that I've been buying over, there's a, a ridge in there. So you have to be mindful of that ridge. Now this one, I'm going to try and scoop out what I can. Let's see. Like I said, I just want enough to coat the bottom. So I'm going to move it around just to get it all in there. There's one. Perfect. See, I should have done that with the black instead of dumping more in there. Just moving it around gently. Just so it gets on all the edges and then even it out again. Perfect. I'll do that with the ones down here. Put that off the top. There. Just want to make sure it goes right to the corners, being that these are not rounded, so it's kind of hard to make sure they're all in there. Awesome. Perfect. I'm excited now. I can make some more barrettes. I think they're going to, guys, the barrettes, 99% alcohol. It is a mold life saver. I don't know if you can pay attention when I squirt, but I tell you, it gets rid of every little bubble. You may have to come back a couple of times and do it, but so be it. It saves your molds, I tell you guys. I am in love with that idea because I've ruined some expensive molds. So, and here we are going to see what I can get out of this in my little, I'm going to actually dump it all in here. I think that's easier to maneuver than this big cup. Now when you do these, you don't want to overfill them. I'm not sure if you're seeing, thinking you are. There, I'm moving closer. You just want to, you should be using my little silicone ones. And then you got it. Oh, shoot, Cherry. You have to be mindful. Silicone little things work good. You want to get it off there because you don't want it to be in the middle. 
and you do not want it to be on the side. Anyways. Do do. Start at this end, and then I can finish at that end. Because it's a little bit deeper, and then I'll do squares, even though they're rectangles. See, and these don't take much. This is uh, an ounce cup, guys. And how many coasters have I got so far? So far. And I'm going to do what I can of this. Hopefully it'll be... Oops, I don't want to use that one. See if I can leave it. Oh, there's some in there. I'm gonna scoop that rest of that into a heart. Never throw out, guys, ever. The resin is like gold, right? So you don't want to get rid of it. I got a whole bunch of little wee things kicking around, so that's garbage. That'll get washed. Now the black. Hopefully it's not too... It feels warm. I'm going to take a toothpick and... Um, make sure that that pink is where it should be. I'm sorry guys, you're getting more of what a video than what you wanted. I'm just uh, showing you how to use up the resin that you don't want to waste. And start where it's thick. And then use your finger to pull it out. Or to get the drip anyway. Perfect. These are so oh, amazing. Oh, see, they slowly go, so don't overfill them. That's the only, only, only thing I would suggest out of these is make sure you don't overfill them. Now, I'm not going to do a video on how to finish these, but I'll show you them in the end.
my goodness guys I would rather put my extra resin in this than those all those hearts and things because you know these will sell All right, and then I'm going to dump the rest on top of this purpley heart. Not a whole lot left, but enough to put some in there. There you go, guys. So you're going to have a couple of projects out of this, um, which is kind of neat. And I'm going to come back and make sure like these shouldn't be touching. Oh, where's my little other tool, actually? Would be better. That's fine. I want this to be in there. Perfect. So those ones are all pretty. Just want to make sure I got that off because I don't want to stick the black in inside these. And I'm gonna double check. Oh, they're all good. So what I'm gonna do is give them a spritz also with the alcohol and come back and do the coasters one more time. And I'm gonna let them sit overnight and we're going to get at playing around. See, that's going to be pretty. It's kind of something different. <laughs> All right, my beautiful people, I'll put you on pause, hold, whichever, and I will see you when these are cured. Bye. Hello, we are back. We are going to do some um, cityscapes on my coasters that I've I previously did. Now I've been playing with this for a week or so and I cut all my tiles out exactly like I did in the tray video and so I won't go through a lot of the detail with that. I'll link the amazing tray video. You can see it. Ah, they're pretty cool. So what I'll do is these are from the dollar store. Um, they're also on Amazon. Now they're very, they're more pricey, obviously on Amazon. These are a dollar and a quarter um, Canadian. And I calculated them out to, I think there was almost 1,200, 1,200 um, tiles. So when you're looking on Amazon, if you, I'll, link, I'll see if I can find some, and if I do, I will link it actually in this video. So with that, um, it's just basics, guys. You just kind of play around and, you know, take an X-Acto knife, make sure it's sharp. You know, bend your little papers. Now, people want you to cut this way, but on this, you won't be able to. So you have to push it in and cut. And cut. So that's how I did it. I basically went through and ooh, I lost one. Tried to find where the tiles are. Now these ones are my um, geoid shaped. So we're going to have an empty space. I don't know if you can see here. We're going to have a little bit of an empty space, but I'm not overly worried about that. Now, the only thing I found with this one, I had to make sure that I, if you can see the way I have my city, I'm making sure each one is in the same spot. So because I took that one apart, there. Because the geo, yeah. So this is this. And then I taped it 
so that I had everything together. So I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping this works. So I'm gonna start from this side. Let me see. Put it on again. Put it in here like like so. And I'm pretty sure I think each one is different. So what I'm gonna do, I'm hoping this comes off. This is the most pain part, is figuring out what tiles to put where. And it's kind of re relaxing. You can sit and just play. So now I'm gonna take the tape off. And I'm not gonna put you guys through all of this torture. I'm gonna do two of them. And then I will do the other two off camera. And then we will come back. And um, put it all together. So I'm pretty sure that's how that went. Let's see. And what I'm doing is I want... This was probably in there, yeah. What I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna try and bring it up. But each and every, like they're all in the same, the lines that go this way. Here, let me push it together here. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Ah, that one, I'll pull that one in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. one here and I'm wondering where it went maybe it's this side if you had it there that's the thing is you can do it all any which way you want so do you see what I mean by the horizontal lines all of the mirrors are the same I'm trying to keep them level that way so here we go we're just gonna start piecing it together I'm gonna start with this big guy Hopefully, it'll come apart. There we go. And just unstick it. I hope you enjoyed um, Wednesday's video. My very first video. Isn't that funny? And like I was saying, I watched it just so that I <laughs> could kind of have an idea what I had done. And it's hilarious to watch the, um, the progress of how much I've changed my videos since my very first one. So it's kind of funny. It's been three years almost it's crazy and there we go and then I'm gonna piece that one in there I was worried about the tape but that's pretty good actually I'm impressed So, I don't know if you can notice, well, you probably can't because I don't have very much of the uh, <laughs> room in here. I'm at my trailer. And I got to go back tomorrow because I have to work. I don't like these things we have to do for money, eh? But it allows me to buy some glitter. Some tape, some supplies all right put that one in the middle 
Perfect. So I'm going to work from side to side. And this is the, the, like I said, this is the tedious part of everything. And that glitter in the, um, no, 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 get up here. That glitter that's in the back is really pretty to make it look like, um, I'm going to turn it this way, guys, so I can get this on there properly. Yeah, the glitter in the back makes it really look like stars. Now, the only thing I'm going to suggest also is make sure when you are coming, you do not want, I see, I may pop that one out because it's, yeah, there, that's better. You do not want it to touch right to the edge of your coaster and come up because it'll look really funky. Like it won't be very pretty. So just a heads up on that one. We'll put this little one that I pulled from down there over here. It's like a Tetris game, eh? Just piece by piece. And if you don't want to watch this, my friends, you can fast forward. But if you are a frequent watcher, a frequent watcher, you know I like to put everything, all the steps. Normally, I would put every every one of these, but I'm finding now that you get the process, and I will um, won't put you through the pain of doing all four of these. And I like when you do this aspect of it; it makes it kind of look cool. So me living in Canada, I think I might try to do one of these with the um, the CN Toronto, the CN Tower, because you could do the CN Tower with this. It'd be cool. All right. So now we'll go this end. It's the only thing, make sure like, it, it'll fall onto each other. So this is the only part that's hard, is trying to get it so it doesn't buckle. And you want to make sure, there, that's perfect there. And I might be able to put, uh, you just don't want that, yeah, maybe I can put one in there. And then this guy here. So when you do this at home, it's easy. Just cut it and put it down as soon as you're doing it, right? For me, video purposing. And I was wanting to make sure it was gonna work with these coasters. Um, being I'm at my trailer, I don't think I brought them with me. If I did, I'll show them. If not, we will do the, I'll show you the other, my experiment when I get home tomorrow. Do, 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 do. We need some music. There we go. Perfect. And then I think I'll put that like that. Oh my goodness. Perfect. And then I'll do the, yep, two will be good there. 
And these are not all the same. So every one of them is just a little bit different. Oh my goodness, this tape. There we go. And if you want it to be very, very ingenious, you could cut, like say in this building, you could cut out like a couple of the single tiles to make it look like those rooms aren't lit up. <laughs> but I wasn't going that. Oh, no, I got a good point. Yeah, I wasn't going that crazy. Maybe if I did one on a canvas, because this would be cool on a canvas too. Oh my goodness. It's hitting it just enough that it's gonna... So I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing. This is kind of buckling up, so I'm gonna remove that one. It might not even make a difference, but to me, that's all I'll see when I look at that coaster. <laughs> if I can get it up. Just the one. Oh my goodness. There. And then maybe I'll put this one over here. There. Perfect. Now, when you have the square, you won't have to worry about all the edging. If you're using square tile or a square coaster mold, sorry. Oh no, don't fall. Ah, just, there you go. It bent on each other. There we go. Oh, that one's good. Okay. You know what, I think I might just do one of them for you guys. And then I'll come back when I'm ready to put my clear coat of resin on top. Now with these, you have to really, really come back. Oh my goodness, why does it? <laughs> you have to really, really come back a whole bunch of times to make sure you get bubbles out. I was almost thinking I was going to put my liquid glass. Oh, why does this not want to? Let's see if it'll stick. Put my liquid glass down and then adhere this to the liquid glass, and then that way it um, wouldn't have any bubbling from underneath. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. And here, we'll put this one here on the end. And then we'll take a peek and see if we need. No, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, where did I put the ones I was cutting? I might put one here and one here. So I'm going to take my little X-Acto knife. One. And put it in here, just to fill that huge hole that's there. Right? And I might be able to get another one. I think I can. Papers. 
and make sure it's not going to be perfect there. And I'm going to put one in here. Actually, let me just, I think I'm, no, it's going to buckle. So we'll put this one here. There, that's it. So that is my city line. Cityscape line. Pretty cool, eh? Now the only other thing is, would be neat to have a moon. But I don't have anything to put it on in here at the trailer, so... All right, so I'm going to proceed. We're going to, what I'll do is I'll get them all stuck down and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to clean off the mirrors before we put the resin on. So I'm going to proceed and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I have them all on. Oh my goodness, look. And like I said, each one is different. They're not all the exact same. And I have washed all three of these and I'm gonna show you how I did it with these ones. Now, ideally, just because like I said, I'm at my trailer, I don't have everything that I would normally use. I am just using a Lysol wipe. I'm just using a wipe. You could use a baby wipe, whatever. You could also use Windex, I think if you wanted to. All I'm doing is taking it around my finger and I'm just rubbing on all of the mirrors. Especially, sorry, you are on top of my table. So I'm hoping I'm not jiggling you all. So just give it a good wipe. And it's a good way to make sure they're pressed down. There we go. And then all I'm doing is taking a piece of paper towel. This I would prefer to use like a, um, a microfiber cloth, something like you would use for your eyeglasses, just because you might get a little bit of lint from this paper towel. So ideally, because I'm not at home, I can't find my, my microfiber cloth, but that would be the ideal thing to use here because then you're not going to get little bits because remember these are real glass <sighs> sorry <sighs> blew that right into the other ones these are real glass so you will get little bits of the paper towel possibly sticking so like you can see there you go, guys. Woohoo! I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so with that, oh, a little bit of, now do you see what I mean by the little bits there? Can you see that? <sighs> Just give it a blow. <sighs> Even if you have a little air. So I am going to put you on pause. I am going to mix up my crystal resin, which is the resin of choice. Um, and when I do mix mine, even though I'm at my trailer, I can mix it outside, but I'm using my mask. My, this one is a trend. It is a stealth mask. And anyways, I am using that. And when I come back, I am choosing not to wear it so that I can talk to you lovely people. So I'll be back when my resin is all mixed up. Okay, we are back. I have mixed my resin up and oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot my gloves at home. So please do not judge me. Um, do, I'm telling you, please wear gloves when you're using resin because you should have them on. But I mixed the resin up and I'm ready to go. So we're just gonna go with it. So do as I say, not as I do, please. So I'm using my one ounce cup and I'm just going to put an ounce in each. Clear resin. I've mixed up six ounces. So 
So we're going to do one full one in each, and then we'll go from there. Because these ones are quite deep. And of course, I have my little, um, my new infatuation, my little barrette molds, in case I have a little extra. Because you know, you never want to get rid of resin unless you have to. Now I'm just going to set this with this here, just so I don't make a mess. And I'm going to use my amazing stir sticks from Crystal Resin. Go check them out. And we're just going to help this along to the edges. My table might not be quite as level as it should be. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to come back with just, just a little bit. I'm going to just use this. I'm going to fill in a little bit here. There we go. Just a tad bit here. corner and this corner Woo they look full and they look bubbly so I'm gonna give you a couple suggestions guys I like using the El sorry I have to stand up I like using the alcohol ink to burst bubbles up. But the only thing, once you use your alcohol ink on this, you cannot come back with a torch or you cannot come back with your heat gun because you will have flames. So keep that in mind. So I'm a big, big, big pusher of not really using your um, torches with your molds, but Today I am going to, just because I want to get rid of most of these, because you can see there's quite a few bubbles in there. I want to get rid of most of them before I start spraying with the alcohol. I purchased this little guy at the dollar store. It was $8.99. And it's the same idea as this one, but it's, it's little. Like, that's as high as it goes. So I'm going to use this guy. And then do not go, try not go around the edges. Like, look at that, just craziness. And again, I mentioned before, you have to keep coming back because with these, I'm pretty sure you're going to get bubbles. And that's why I was saying it's nice to have to use the alcohol ink, but you want to really make sure that you've got what you want done with any heat gun, any torch, anything, because you will start a fire. Trust me. Been there, done that. <laughs> do not want to do it again. And I'll link these molds in my description box because they were a really good deal. I got them off of Amazon and they were, I think it was 20, maybe $23. And there was 10 of them and they're a really nice size. So now I've got most of this done. I can see where there's going to be bubbles. If you see where you're going to grab your bubbles from are all, 
you can see them come up all along the lines of the tiles. So I pre periodically will come back with my alcohol ink now that I've done my main kind of torch and it will work out fine. So with that, my amazing people, I'm going to love you, leave you, let it cure, and then I'll see you tomorrow at home with the reveal. I'll see you guys in a bit. Here we go, guys. I'm excited. Oh, they turned out so pretty. Let me just, oh, the backs are even beautiful. I'm just going to pop them all out. Like I said, these molds are amazing. I like them. They're, I like the depth of them. They're, they're nice, but they're not overly huge, if that makes sense. All right, you ready? And I am so impressed because the backs look like stars. Look at that. Hello in there. Like, look at that. Amazing. I am just going to bring them up to you because I think that'd be a better way to do it. Okay, no, maybe not. We're going to do each one. Amazing. I am overly impressed. And the backs turned out nice as well. Sparkly. And again, do you see what I mean? Each one is different. They're not the same. I didn't put the tiles the same. And then the last one. I'm so excited. So now my thoughts are, we're gonna get out my silver pen. This one is silver leafing pen. It is Krylon, same as my, my gold. Just gonna prep it up a little bit. And we're gonna just get at it. Wondering if I can just, yep, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Oh, I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? I just don't want to get it on the back. Wow, well, what the hey? I'll do a little rim on the back. I'm excited so we have I'm gonna do one more you, I'm, I'm throwing another we're gonna do another I'm actually gonna do a true a, a true bling bling cityscape so um, I just had that beach theme in my brain and it was like I had to do it so so that was last week's video so this week I will be doing another one so we're going to start on a bling and end on a bling. So I'm excited. And that's all I'm going to tell you about it. But these, I'm impressed. Do this and I'm going to do the front and I'll show you what they look like. Couple little bubbles in these ones on the sides, but and I did come back a couple of times, like I was mentioning, um, to mindfully pay attention to the bubbles on the little tiles when they pop through. There we go. That looks pretty nice. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the edging on the top and I think that's just going to finish it off. And you're saying all oh, that's kind of missing is a moon. What is going on with this? Let me get my little scissors. I think I have to snip. 
just a little bit off of the end. I'm getting stragglies. There, I'm hoping that worked. It's dragging loose hair through. There we go. And there's another one. What is with that? There we go. I think that just finishes it off, eh? What do you think? Silver? No silver. Oh, yeah, I think the silver just finishes it off. All right, I'm going to proceed. We will quickly get this done. And I like these. Nice and smooth. The edges are easier to, to put this leafing on. And it does look cool without the, like you can see those layers. It's pretty neat too. I like this silver actually. It's kind of nice. I'm a silver girl as opposed to gold. If you want to fast forward, guys, I'm going to do them all. Might as well do them all and then we'll be ready to go. I'm excited. You need to go check out Crystal Resin's uh, discount code because I think 10% is good. Even if you just use it to get those stir sticks, oh my goodness, they're worth the money. They now have glitter, chunky and fine, and they also have some more pigment stuff. And they started They've been carrying molds for a little bit, so you should go check it out. Right, there we go. I'm just going to, and one, and definitely check out the, the class because that sounds awesome. I used to hate the lip on the top of these, but actually I'm quite liking. It makes it easy to do a nice finish on your coasters. Number two, look at that, that just looks so pretty with that. Oh, I came back from my trailer today. It was hard. Oh, it was so nice out. The poor hubby, he doesn't really do much while, while he's there. He just kind of watches, watches TV and I no sooner get home and then he texts me. He says, the freaking TV broke. So... I was out running around trying to see if we can pick up a TV for him. So I found a TV, but my car is too little. I have a little wee hatchback, so the 65 inch television would not fit in my little hatchback. So I have to find transportation for it. 
we do have a truck, but it's at the trailer, and I'm over here. So, anyway, there's always something that doesn't go right, eh? All right, guys, we're almost done this one. Perfect. Just want to make sure that that's. And here we go. Oh, and they do sell those, um, these tiles. They do come in gold as well at the, the dollar, dollar rama here in Canada. But I have a hard time. They're not in all of them. Been wanting to do this for a while, but then I didn't have enough or I didn't think I had enough to do them but um, as you see it didn't even take it didn't even take a whole one to a whole package to do these or the whole package to do the um, the beach scene We're on the home stretch, guys. I promise, I promise. Oh my goodness, dead air. <gasps> it's so quiet. All right, we're at the end. Perfect. Oh, glad I flipped that around. Look, this is just so pretty. It does give it a nice finish. All right, here we go, guys. And why is this? I don't know where these long hairs are coming from on this thing. Weird. On. Drop the mic. Woohoo! All right. I will bring them up to. You. Oh, that's wet. I'll bring them up to you. I don't want to run it into that. Oh, there we go. Very, very impressed. They turned out beautifully. Look at that. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel tremendously. Give it a comment. And if you have not yet subscribed, please, please subscribe and give it a share. 
Also in the corner is a bell, hit it for notifications and double check if you already subscribed and you think it's on, just double check and make sure because sometimes YouTube decides to turn off it for some reason. And with that, in my description box, I have the links to my Facebook page, my Amazon shops. I have the links to Fundy Molds with a discount code. I have the links to where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I also have the links to the amazing Crystal Resin, which I've used today. Don't forget to use your discount code FALL10, lowercase and get 10% off your whole entire order. Also, please go check out, if you are in the Toronto area, it is in Markham, the um, class for the resin tray, and I will link everything in there. It's October 2nd and 3rd. So yeah, with that. Also, I have the links to the amazing, the wonderful Lorez distributors, my Canadian girl, Michelle from Artworks Canada. Um, use my discount code Sherry Molten 10 capital S capital M and get 10% off your whole entire order. She's got some amazing things. Go check out her site and the amazing Laura, Laura's Art Corner. Um, my American Lorez distributor, amazing glitters. Go check her out. Um, my discount code is all capital letters Sherry Molten 10%. And with that, my long-winded exit, I have my PayPal link as well, if you'd like to donate. That I am done, my friends. I'll see you on Sunday with another Cityscape Bling Bling. Hope you have an amazing day. Love you guys. Bye.